A woman is in critical condition in the hospital tonight after the van she was in plunged into the Willamette River. Fox 12's Polina Aguilar is at the dock just off of South Beaver Avenue with details of the dramatic rescue that unfolded today. That 911 call came in at about 1115 of events submerged in the water behind me. Portland Fire says that a man and a woman were in the process of launching their boat. The gentleman was already standing outside the van with the woman inside and somehow that van lost control and rolled back into the water with her trapped inside. At about 1115 Wednesday morning, reports came in of a car submerged in the Willamette River with a person trapped inside. And a young woman with two dogs came running up the dock and she was screaming, there's, there's a car in the water and there's somebody in the car. And so there were several um, Portland city workers who were here. Um, they all went running down there. Fire crews arrived to find a van underwater and prepared for an underwater rescue. They broke a car window but couldn't reach the woman inside. That's when they used tow straps and ropes to pull the van out and rescue her and was taken to a local hospital. But it's unclear how the van rolled back into the water. It apparently slipped out of gear and the van, the boat trailer and the boat all went into the water. I keep seeing him holler my wife and trying to get off the stretcher and get back into the water. And other bystanders were left in shock. I was helping them check in at the kiosk for parking at the ramp here. They said that it was their first time and that they had the boat. Fire crews say from the time the first truck arrived to getting her out was about 15 minutes. And miraculously, they believe there was an air pocket for her to breathe. We have to live like, you know, take, live each day as much as we can because we never know what's going to happen to have something like that happen is is just a, a, a full reminder that you never know. We are told that the man is stable and the woman is in critical condition, but fire crews say that if you are out here wanting to use that boat, make sure you have those wheel chocks or those wooden blocks to put in the rear of your tire to prevent anything like this from happening. Reporting from Willamette Park, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon. Some important advice there. Paulina, thank you.